Today I wanted to go over the reasons for needing radiation after both a lumpectomy and a mastectomy. And we'll start with a lumpectomy. If you have a lumpectomy, most likely you need radiation. There are a few exceptions to that, like older women or with DCIS, but in general, if you have a lumpectomy, you need radiation. And the reason why is that when we first started doing lumpectomies back in 1976, we found that the risk of recurrence if you just do a lumpectomy alone was 40%. So what that tells us is that even when we get clear margins, the risk that there are cancer cells left behind is about 40% because 40% of the women had the cancer come back in their breast. And radiation is used to sterilize those cells that may be left behind in the breast and reduces that risk of recurrence. When we first started using radiation in 1976, the risk of recurrence went from 40% down to 10% with the use of radiation. It turns out that we've gotten better with our techniques, both surgically and with radiation and with systemic therapy. So the risk of recurrence is actually less than that. It's usually less than 5% and the one to 3% risk of recurrence rate um, after lumpectomy plus radiation. But lumpectomy alone is not considered sufficient. You need the radiation to sterilize those cells that may be left behind in the breast. Most people actually know that, that their surgeons have explained that to them, that they really need the radiation after lumpectomy, but a lot of women get confused with why I would need radiation after a mastectomy. If I've had a mastectomy, they told me I didn't need radiation, so why is my doctor now saying I need radiation after a mastectomy? So the reason for needing radiation after a mastectomy is because there are certain features about your cancer that put you at a higher risk for the cancer coming back both on the chest wall and in the lymph nodes in the underarm or in the superclav area which is right here so most of the time you're correct if you have a mastectomy you don't need radiation as part of your treatment because the risk of occurrence is quite low with no additional treatment but if you have the following features, your doctor will talk to you about the benefits of radiation in your treatment. And those features are positive lymph nodes. So certainly if you have multiple lymph nodes that are positive, your doctor will likely recommend radiation. But even if you have one to two, your doctor may talk about needing radiation after a mastectomy. So positive lymph nodes is one of the risk factors. The other is tumor size bigger than five centimeters because larger tumors have a higher risk of coming back on the chest wall. And the last reason is positive margins, meaning tumor cells extending up to the edge of what was taken out. And that suggests that there are tumor cells left behind on the chest wall. And if the surgeon can't get those margins clear, then radiation can be used to sterilize those cells that are left behind. And so radiation can be used um, both after lumpectomy and after mastectomy, but really the reasons for needing the radiation are different. Um, and you should always ask your doctor, you know, why exactly do I need it? But those are the general reasons why women would need radiation after either procedure.